Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sean Cherie and I am back with another video. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If not, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. As you can see by the title in today's video, I will be unboxing my Ipsy and my Boxy Charm boxes for the month of October. So if you want to see what I got, just stay tuned. I do want to say before we get started, make sure you all head over to my Instagram, which I'll leave here on the screen at underscore Sean Cherie. I post pictures. I'll let you all know when I'm posting here on YouTube. If you want to be overall connected with me, see what I'm posting on my stories and on my page, make sure you head over there and follow me on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. So if you want to see what I got for my Ipsy and Boxy Charm boxes for the month of October, just keep on watching i apologize now for the wine mouth and wine lips i am having a stressful day and i'm drinking wine so grab you some wine too we're gonna have a chill unboxing type of video so don't even worry about it usually when i do my unboxings i have my makeup already on but because i feel like i've been getting subscriptions for a couple of months now and i feel like i'm not using the makeup as often as i should or that i would like i'm going to go ahead and try to use as much of the makeup that i get in this month's subscription box in the video i have got several boxes before and then i kind of use some of the products off camera i might use some products on camera here and, here and there but i really do just want to use this video and use the products in here just to see if i like them right away so i'm going to try this out this month and see how it goes i do have the ipsy glam bag plus when you open it you get a nice little bag like this this is what it looks like. It has little different makeup things around and it has the Ipsy name here and the Ipsy tag here. And it also says your magic on the back. Again, I haven't opened any of these things so I'm just gonna open them one by one with you all. First here, we have a watermelon burst hydrating primer. So it says hydrating and pore refining primer. It looks like this. Ooh, look at this. This is from Ciate London. Very nice. It looks like it has like little pieces inside, little specks in there. And it has like a little nice pump. Oh, I've never had a um, primer like this before. So definitely going to be using this in today's video. And it says instantly refresh and moisturize before makeup application with Ciate London's Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. It says it has watermelon extract droplets to quench and hydrate the pink jelly base, actively brightens whilst refining pores. Delicately watermelon tinted, this unique aqua serum primer grips foundation for long wear with added glow. I'm usually combination skin, I usually go for like matte primers or something like that. So I don't know how this hydrating primer will be, but definitely can't wait to try it out. Next we have this. Tarte High Performance Neutrals. It says Shape Tape Setting Powder. Hmm. We got a setting powder. Oh, and it's darker color. Okay, it looks like this. A really nice packaging. Oh, it has a nice mirror in it. And it comes, oh, it has this nice soft powder puff. This is the setting powder in the color translucent tan deep which is usually my color so hmm. it looks promising now we have this violet voss lipstick it looks like this oh we might have a full face here Ooh, right up my alley this is in the color delight Ooh, and it smells good. It looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it really quick. Ooh, very nice peachy new color. So definitely gonna be getting this on the lips today. Okay, then we have this Dr. Bryant Pore Dermabrasion Exfoliator. It looks like this. It does smell nice. It has kind of like a pepperminty scent. I'm not going to use the exfoliator today just because I've already like washed my face and everything like that. Uh, so I'm definitely going to try this out, but I'm not going to try it out in today's video. But it does look very promising. 
And lastly, ooh, I got this Violet Boss creme brulee fun size eyeshadow palette it looks like this and when you open it you get this really nice neutral palette i actually really wanted this when i saw it i i can't remember where i saw it from but i got the hg fun size one from violet violet boss here and i really like this one and i wanted to have this one too so i'm glad to have them both so that's all i got from ipsy let's go ahead and get into the boxy charm box the boxy charm one does come with a card and i have number variation 23 here i got this a frank body glow mask it says caffeinated okay let me smell this kind of a white cream it kind of smells like play-doh a little bit <laughs> i'm not gonna open it all the way but it says Frank Body Glow Mask. This moisturizing face mask is natural and ultra hydrating. It works to reduce puffiness and give skin extra life, glow, and brightness. It's perfect for pre-makeup, late nights, and morning afters. It's natural, cruelty-free, and only takes five minutes to work. And then it retails for $21.95. So, very nice. We got some good skincare products so far. Next, we have this from Luxie. I know Luxie makes brushes, so I'm feeling optimistic. I hope it is brushes. <laughs> it is brushes. Yes. Look at this. You get you get four brushes and a little spoolie. Okay. And it says here, Luxie Wonderlust set. Create eye-catching looks with this five-piece rose gold synthetic brush set the versatile collection includes a tapered shading brush blending brush medium angle brush larger shader brush plus a brow and lash brush stash them in your luxie pouch for glam on the go and this retails for 40 dollars yes i love brushes i've been getting brushes every month and i am very happy about that it's an easy way to build up your brush collection and these feel so soft and amazing wow Ooh, very nice very nice i can tell they are very good quality and they're this nice purpley blue color i'm happy and i had to put on some lip balm because my lips were ashy so all right next we have this dose of colors meet your hue Full coverage concealer. Hmm. Ooh. What? This is in the color 22 Dark. Wow. A concealer? Let's see. Oh. And it kind of it looks here it is right here. Here, let me blend it out a little bit. It looks really good. It might be too dark for my under eye but it looks like a really nice like my skin color concealer so I can use it to spot conceal wow I heard good things about this it says dose of color meet your hue concealer this multitasking full coverage concealer has a lightweight easy to blend formula it conceals dark under eye circles blemishes and other skin perfections and it retails for $24 so yes, I might try this under my eye just to see um, maybe if I don't want a super bright under eye look, but I'm definitely going to try it today to see how it works. Next we have ooh, Ace Beauté Draw It Lip Liner. Yes, Ace Beauté, black owned business right here. Ooh, it's a duo. Yes, I got some really good stuff so far. Okay. This is the packaging, a really nice color. And then it has like the color that it is on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. This one is in the color B Peachy. This one is in the color So Gorgeous. And they are so creamy, B Peachy, So Gorgeous. So creamy, very nice. I don't really know because this seems plastic and it does have a sharpener at the bottom. I don't know how you will get the product up. Um, I don't know if you can sharpen this, but 
The product looks really good so far. Ace you take Draw It Lip Liner Duo. The Draw It Lip Liner are super pigmented liners that draw on smoothly and can be used to line the lips or fill them in completely. It includes a sharpener at the base that can be used to sharpen the liner's tip. And then this retails for $16. Another thing from Ciate London, Ciate London The Editor Palette. 18 piece eyeshadow palette. Whoa. It has this nice design on there. And then, ooh. When you, wow, this is beautiful. What? What? This is very pretty. And this mirror is so nice. So clear. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Look. Such a wide variety of colors. It says Ciate London New England Editor Palette. Inspired by New England in the fall. This palette features soft this, this palette features super soft and blendable shadows in a mix of richly pigmented autumnal hues. Mix and match the metallic glitters and matte for effortless eye look. And then this retails for $32. So, I don't know which eyeshadow palette I want to use. I kind of feel like I really want to use this one because the other one is just you know more neutral and this has a little a few more pops of color i have on this colorful ass shirt <laughs> so i think i'm gonna try this one today because i've never tried anything from ciate london i will save this one for another time i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and do a couple things and then i'll come back to try out the first product with you all so be right back Quickly, I put on some eyebrows. Now I'm going to go into this Dose of Colors concealer that I got. And I'm just going to clean up the eyebrows. And I'm using this Morphe M432 brush and I'm just gonna use that to clean up the eyebrows. far for this concealer I think that it's really nice I would like a brighter color for my under eye but just for like something that's not too bright and to clean up my brows I think that it's a pretty good color and it blends out pretty well too let's go into this primer the hydrating one from Ciate London it's, I really like this packaging Okay, so when you rub it, it's kind of watery almost. And it does have a watermelon scent. So it's a watermelon primer. So if you don't like that watermelon scent, you probably won't like this. But it's a really faint smell. Once you rub it in, it's not lingering or anything like that. You could just smell it initially. Hmm, I don't want to say it feels oily, but it does have like a little film filling. And my skin is not really that tacky or anything like that. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. So I let it sit for a second. My, my face doesn't feel particularly tacky or anything like that and it doesn't look super like hydrated or glowy or anything like that so I guess that's good there is a little bit of like shine if you move it a certain oh, I guess there is a little bit of like hydrating feel so so I'm gonna put on some foundation and then I'll be right back to try this concealer under the eyes so I went ahead and put on some foundation I did use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear foundation only because the primer was hydrating so I wanted to see how it would work with the matte foundation. So now that the, the soft matte foundation is on, you definitely can see 
the hydrating qualities it almost looks like i have a little highlighter on it looks really nice i want to see how it looks with everything set down but just initially it made it look a little bit more natural less matte so if that's something that you like this primer might be for you i'm gonna go ahead and try this also color concealer now again in the color 22 dark i'm gonna put this underneath the eye and again, the color is not something that I would typically go to for under eye for brightening, but if it works, like the quality of the product is good, I will use it just, you know, for those under eye days when I don't really want something too bright. On the box, it says blendable, lightweight, long wear, full coverage. So let's see. It definitely blends out really well. very blendable for sure. And since the concealer is not very brightening, I'm gonna go into this Laura Mercier translucent powder and then just set the under eye. So this is looking really nice. Although initially the concealer wasn't my favorite, when I put the lighter powder on, it looks very nice, very flawless, very beautiful. So I think this color would be just fine for me. Very nice. Let's try out this Tarte Translucent Deep Powder. It does have this, I don't wanna waste it. It's like a mesh material is what the powder looks like. I'm gonna just kind of shake it up a little bit. Okay, this is a good view. So yes, this is what the powder looks like. So I'm gonna try using this puffer just to see how I like it. Hmm. Not bad, but I don't really like this. I feel like it's kind of small. I feel like this might be good for touching up but I just like a brush. So I'm gonna take this um, Complex Culture Powder Brush and then just set the rest of my face. The powder is a really nice color, does great at setting. And it really kind of got rid of some of that luminosity that I had. I went ahead and completed the rest of my face because I didn't have anything from the boxes for the rest of my face. So now let's get into the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with this Thank You Later eyeshadow primer. I didn't get it with this Funts box, but I did get it previously and I haven't tried it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. So it's like this type of consistency and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my eyelids. Eyes are primed, so let's go ahead and go into the Ciate London palette. The shades do not have any names, so I'll just go ahead and point to the ones that I'm using. Like this color right here is calling my name, so I'm gonna go into that one first. And then I am gonna try to use these Luxie brushes. I'm gonna go into this Luxie 205 Taper Blending Brush first. It looks like this. Really quick, I, I don't really know where I'm going with this look, but I do want to swatch some of these for you. So, just so you can kind of see how they look. Ooh. And I'm just going to swatch a few. Just watching a few of the shimmers so you can see. Very nice.
the look is looking i know it's a little bit out of my comfort zone but i'm feeling adventurous today so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes and then i'll be right back to finish up the look with you all so be right back the look this is how the eyes came out i am loving it okay so now let's go in with the lips the last products i think i'm gonna keep it neutral since the eyes are a bit much so i'm gonna go into the ace Beauté lip liner and be peachy and then line my lips with that okay very nice and then i'm gonna go into the violet false lipstick in the color delight that i showed you earlier pop that on the center then just blot this is the look this is how it came out i feel like the look came out really beautiful really outside of my comfort zone but i really do like it the lip pencil is super soft super creamy the lip gloss is not sticky at all it has a nice smell and it's very like moisturizing it doesn't feel like anything's on my lips so very nice Go ahead and leave in the comments if you like this style of me trying out the stuff that I got in my subscription box when I opened it. I really like it. It kind of forces me to review everything right then and there, which I really do love. I didn't try anything that I didn't like. I really loved all the products that I tried. Thank you all so much for watching my unboxing. Go ahead and leave in the comments if you got any of these products or you're looking to try any of these products out. I always forget, but don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the handle here. It's at underscore Sean Cherie make sure you give me some love there too i post about when i'm going to upload on youtube and i post pictures and stuff there so definitely make sure to check me out on instagram so again thank you all so much for watching my unboxing i really do hope you all like it again my name is sean Shereen, and i'll see you in the next one